What is going on guys, DBG here, and today I saw a video from Ty called Before you dislike this video, let me cook. And I think he's tripled down. I think he has tripled down. Also, why get in the thumbnail, JC? But I just thought that this is the thumbnail of that video. Um, you can see, talking about, he's, the he's tripling down on defending season four. And look, 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 we all have different opinions on this game. I am not bothered getting out of bed to react to this video. That's how much I'm like, look, I'm I'm that confident I can win this debate that I'm not even going to my office. I'm doing it from bed. I'm that confident. But still, but still, don't give any hate to Ty if you guys disagree. At the end of the day, video game opinions are video game opinions. If we all had the same opinion, then, well, there'd be no point in being multiple content creators, especially in this niche. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. There's going to be people agree with me. There's going to be people agree with Ty. But I'm confident I can win this debate. And also, you guys seem to like videos when we go back and forth at each other, whether it's on his channel going at me, my channel going at him. At the end of the day, these are opinions on a video game. They don't really matter. So uh, if people think there's any actual beef, there's not. But uh, no, I just strongly disagree with his thoughts on season four. It's good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here. Lower the volume a little bit. Another video and in this video today, guys. We're going to be talking about the season again today. And this is just kind of my response, okay? So, obviously, the community is mad, upset that yeah. we did not get new rewards, okay? Yes. And, and I'm not going to try to convince you guys that the reward system is great or anything like that, okay? What I am going to do is I'm going to look at things from a, a different perspective, okay? And let's... What other perspective is there? Say... I don't think this, but let's say Unlimited is not rewarding, okay? Like, it's untradeable, DeMar DeRozan. If you have Tim Thomas, you don't get Aiden Reedy. And that all these modes are trash, okay? Let's say that yeah. in Clutch Time Online, you guys wanted Jack Mayer, okay? Let's say in my team Unlimited, you wanted, I'm just going to throw out random names, Michael Finley. Let's say in Triple Threat Online, you wanted a... What does he have against Michael Finley? He keeps bringing him up. What does he have against Finley? A new... I'm trying to think of random names. You wanted a new whoever it might. These these cards in these game modes have been RNG has been replaced with takeover. We know that, so I don't think people are too angry about that. The Elton Brand Galaxy Opal, whoever. Okay. Elton Limited. Brand. You guys wanted. I mean, let's just go with somebody they might give us. Okay. Let's just say you know Galaxy Opal Kyle Lab. Okay. Let's say those. Kyle La Nah, they 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 haven't been that bad. You're like Galaxy Opal Kyle Larry. Did they gave Ty. They gave us Shea Gilders Alexander last year. Like, come on, man. Come on. You know they're not going to give us Kyle Larry. Those are the rewards you wanted. Every two, two weeks, we're getting a new Galaxy Opal card. Yeah. The first one being Yee Yalen. Now, I'm. <sighs> I actually have to respect his, his like, persistence to mispronounce Iji Alian's name. Like, it is pronounced pretty much as it's spelled. Like,. Obviously, it's not Yi, it's E, but Jian Lian is, the, it's, that's how it's spelled. Where he gets Yi Yalen from, <laughs> I actually have to respect the persistence to continue to call him Yi Yalen. <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here in front of you guys and say too much. But last year, the power forward reward we had was Pascal Siakam. Who was really freaking good. And if you don't think a seven foot tall Yi Yalen is. <laughs> I actually, I love it. I love it. Keep, keep. It's going to be better than that spicy pizza. You will be. Don't worry. Then you're just mistaken. You guys think there's nothing to grind. Look at it from this. Okay. No, no, no. No, no one has ever said there is nothing to grind. Like. You... <sighs> he, uh, I think he's like. He's making a point that nobody has made i think everyone has said the only good thing in this season is the grind for e and those two e grinds i think everyone has literally said this is the only good thing in the season nothing else is good other than this one thing is good everything else is bad and i think he might be making a whole video saying the one thing that's not awful isn't awful and i don't think anyone's ever said it's awful if you like playing offline there's modes for you if you like playing online yeah that's a good thing no one's complained about that you need to think of the grinding part of this season Okay, it was no, one, no one's ever complained about this part of the mode. The trophy case early on. Okay. Like, 
you can have good things in terrible modes. Like, heck, I lost my freaking partnership with 2K because I ranted about the uh, season eight, season eight from 2K21. Like, that season had good things. Heck, even freaking Glitch Reality had good things, the worst season ever. This season, it's these events. Okay, so think of this Lunar New Year event as yeah. like a new trophy case. That's how you have to think of it. So you need Sean Marion, a free peak. Yeah. But like, you, I don't get what he's, I, I understand what he's saying. Nothing he's saying is wrong, but the argument people are making is that why is it that when 2K give us one good thing, which is the E-grind and the two-week grind, do they have to take any everything else away, which is any unique cards to grind? Like, even you could argue that Larry Bird was a unique card for season three. There's no unique card other than level 40 Zach Levine. Like, he's not, like, he's literally making a different point to what people are making. And then try to, like, put it as, like, a gotcha. Because But nothing Ty's saying is wrong. This is a good part of the season. This is a really good part of the season. This is the only good part of the season. ...diamond that you can grind for. And honestly, guys, this Sean Marion is not horrible. I'm not going to sit here and say... Like, look, I... I have never... Ty... I've never heard Ty flip-flop so much. Ty has called every Sean Marion in the history of 2K unusable. Even when Sean Marion wasn't that bad. Even when we went to NBA 2K22 or 21, like this dude here, I grinded for this guy. And this is back when like there were no Galaxy Opals in the game. He was like my first Galaxy Opal. I grinded for this guy. Ty made fun of me for using this guy. I like them. I like Sean Marion. I don't even mind this. Like he, Ty has flipped so much on Sean Marion. Ty hates Sean Marion more than like I used to hate Kobe Bryant cards in 2K back pre 2k22 and now he's like he's not bad but this is the type of sean marion you guys could have seen in triple threat online even if he's a guy we got kazi russell last year <laughs> like what are you on about galaxy Opal. this is the type and he is in triple threat online he literally is in triple threat online what point are you making he's pretty good for what for his tier and for what he is okay? he's good great for an hour card yeah he is basically halfway to yeelan now again we're not halfway to Ishii and Liam with that card. We have to get 10 of them. It's, we're 10% of the way there. I'll be at some of them are going to be locker codes, but like, we're definitely not, definitely not halfway. We're basically halfway to Yi Yalen. Now again, oh, this Yee is just Yalen. a different way to think about things because we don't know Yi Yalen's stats and badges, but I would, I would, I would say this, that Yi Yalen last year looked like this. Now the He's going to be good. He's going to be good. Don't get me wrong. He's going to be good. You guys tell me, would you rather grind 100 wins for Pascal Siakam, who you guys can say is the better over card, overall card, at 6'9", or get you Yale? Let me ask you guys that. Why couldn't we have both? Like, the most simple, the most simple thing is to just have reward cards. Reward cards for playing the games and have, have the takeover reward. Like, it literally... All people are asking for is 2K to have put in individual reward cards for five game modes. For not even. For clutch time offline. Triple threat offline. Um, Because we, we're cool with... I think most people are cool with triple threat um, offline vault and the ball drops um, being like the takeover cards. I think most people are kind of cool with that. But we literally wanted card for uh, completing clutch time online. Card for unlimited. Clutch time offline. For complete triple threat offline. Four. Four. And I repeat four. And it may be one to two cards on trophy in the token market. It would have taken 2K making six individual cards. And considering all the players are in the game already. All they would have had to do was make card art. Have a generic reward card art. Um, just a generic season four card art. Which they have for Zach Levine. Cutting out f six individual players. And adding some stats and putting the six of them in the game. That is all 2K. The reason why people are so annoyed is that is all 2K had to do. And people wouldn't be this angry. That is all they had to do. And they couldn't even do the bare minimum. Like, I personally could make make the card art, um, cut out the players and put it onto the generic card art using 2KDB in like an hour. I can make the card art in an hour for six of those players. Not even card art in an hour for six of those players. In like 30 minutes, I can make the card art. The players are already in the game. So all it would take is putting the stats on the player and a half an hour to make, all the, make the card art for those six players. It is probably, and considering the fact that they released Donovan Mitchell within like 90 minutes of them going back into work um, the day after their Christmas break for their moments card, 
They were back in work 90 minutes and everybody's Don Mitchell. So let's just say it takes 90 minutes to build a card from scratch, including card art, as a dev team. It would have taken not even a day of work for the dev team to have stopped all of this. It doesn't have to be an either or. And I don't know why people are arguing that it has to be an either or. And that's Ty's whole argument to this, is that it has to be an either or. And it's not. Like, we weren't happy. Like, we're not particularly happy at one thing. But, like, all they have to do is not make everything either or. They don't have to punish us in some way when they give us something good in another way. And that's everything. That's what 2K have done the past two years. Every time they give us something good in a certain um, into the game, they punish us by taking away something else that's good. Because deep down... I know you might not be happy with this specific rewards in specific modes. But there's separate two weeks grinds. In our first you, you, he's three not bars, wrong. Probably he's not wrong. Really similar to this Yi Yale. Okay, they're both Galaxy Opals. They're both gonna be available he's not at wrong. nearly the same time. If we go back to last year, season four of my team, Yi Yalen is going to be better than every single reward. That doesn't matter. That's not the point. He's probably right, but it's not the point. For and also, yeah, I may ran that game, but it doesn't matter. But like, it's not. He's just like, it's not the point. And if you want to make the case that Danny Granger, Pascal Siakam, and Reggie Lewis were all good, and Cassie Russell included, okay. But think about this season like this. X Man was a beast as well. Three big rewards. That's how you got to think about this season. Three big rewards, okay. And Yi Yalen is the first of the big type of rewards that you are grinding for. Now, again, if you are an online head, how do you get Yi Yalen? Well. The big thing, Lunar New Year Spotlight again, I'll have to figure out. No one has ever complained about Yuji Yanlian. How to get that. I no one's ever complained about that reward. At the time I'm recording this, but it should be pretty easy. 10 games in a row, easy. 8 unlimited games, easy. 15 clutch time online games, relatively easy. And 15 triple threat online games, easy. If you're an offline grinder, 30 triple threat offline games, 30 clutch time offline games. Now the 15 domination games is crazy, so I'd try to win those 8 unlimited games. And then you can either... I mean, you can literally put your controller down and just have your game playing for those domination games. I'm not going to lie, they're that easy. Play co-op or win 10 games in a row. It's super easy for Yi Yalen. You don't have to have to overdo it, man. And so I get... He's not wrong. Nothing he's saying is think wrong. Think about it like this. If you do everything I've got highlighted, okay? Eight of Nothing he's saying is wrong. He's just missing the point that everyone's making. He's making a different point. He's like completely missing the point. He's not, nothing he's, nothing Ty said in his video is wrong. Games, nothing he said, online games, said is wrong. And 15 triple threat online games. I'll let him cook, but nothing he said is wrong. You as you go up the boards. You might even get lucky enough to get Sean Marion, okay? Unlimited. You might be lucky enough to get Sean Marion where you don't have to grind him specifically, but you're probably... But like, getting lucky for those cards, those cards are like literally an hour max grind. And also, you've completed whatever your five TT offline games. While getting Marion, you're getting like you're like halfway to um getting all the like event cards for e so like i don't really think luck matters too much at marion like the only reason i haven't got marion is because well i'm trying to shake off i'm trying to shake off being sick the last two weeks so i haven't really left bed i'm gonna get to the amethyst prize ball or diamond evan moment with that you're making about ten thousand mt you're getting some tokens at least along the way that's the way you have to think about this season the there's so much attention. So much attention. I just realized I've been covering Ty this entire video. Let's move to here. Yeah, let's move to here. On the specific rewards. But the way you've got to think about it, this season is completely different. We're going to get... Why? Why? Like, why can't we have both? Like, that's going to be my answer to everything is like, it makes no sense for us to have both. In terms of manpower, it might have taken six extra hours for the dev team worth of manpower to put in cards for both. And like it is, and I can guarantee you they've spent more time on absolute nonsense than it would have taken to have made this game mode actually work fine. Three galaxy opens. And by the time the last one comes, it should be he should be they should be staying up to date with stats, badges, and animations. And we I already agree. know the first one is Yi Yalen. Now, if the first one was like Kyle Lowry or something, I personally wouldn't be so optimistic because he'd be a garbage man. Like it, it at the same time, it is only Yi Lian because it is China. It's like you have to pretty much give Yi Jian Lian, um, or and if you get Jeremy Lin because Jeremy Lin is a to trophy case card, people get angry about that. So it realistically has to be Yi Jian Lian. Uh, Wang Zhiji or Yao Ming so it's going to be one of the beastly cards anyway 
So like it has to be one of those three. So I wouldn't I wouldn't hold out on these cards being great. I think they're gonna be solid, but I wouldn't expect these cards to be god tier because it just happens that in terms of like Asian NBA players, it's not like Sun Yu is in the game. Um so and like even at the same time when it comes to Jeremy Lin, obviously is of Chinese descent, but he is American as well. So it's highly likely that for Chi um for Lunar New Year that they are gonna give us one of Wang Zhiji Yaming or Yijian Lian. And of the three, honestly, Yijian Lian's probably the worst. But we know the first one is going to be Yi Yalin. We don't know his stats, badges, or animations. But all I can say is this. Yi Yalin... He's going to have a really good release. I've used this app. He's good. Yalin is seven feet tall at that power forward position. He's going to have a good three ball. His animations, his player build should be pretty good. And so I think that's the way everybody needs to think about this, this game mode. Do I 100% think, MTY specific... That the rewards are better than they've ever been absolutely specifically into my team limited and yeah but my team limited they did I'll, I'll talk about it in another video but like they made it like three times longer to get a ring like almost almost nobody got rings within like five or six games this week like everything has to come with a catch and that's my, my biggest problem with my team i probably will make this video later on today where like the biggest problem with my team is that everything has to come with a catch and the catch of the two weeks um grind is that we don't get um, any other content. The catch for a limited being a week and better rewards is that it becomes way harder to get the ring. Everything has to come with a catch and that is a big issue in my opinion with um, everything 2K related is that they can't ever give us something good without there being a catch. And I, I guess I just forgot, you know, it's one ring every week so I don't have to worry about getting it in the next couple of days which is awesome. But one, win, one, one ring every week. At least empty wise, you're not going to get more than this. Okay, that's just the facts. Now, again, clutch time online. I got to win 15 games. It's going to be lovely when I win those 15 games and halfway through about 10 wins, I get an extra 5,000 MT. Is it great? No. But the way you got to think about it is, hey, 500 extra MT after every win. That's the way you have to think about it. it might I, I get it. I actually get the point. But, like, it's a different mentality towards everything. And, like, I say this because you can tell when new cards come out. Like, for example, Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson is no better than Tim Thomas. Zion Williamson is no better than Joe Smith. But because Zion Williamson is... He's no better than, like, Terry Dish. And because Zion Williamson is the flashy new toy, everyone is going to want to use that card. A lot of people are going to pay way over the odds to get them. It's why cards are more expensive when they first come out because people like using new cards people like playing the game with shiny new toys and no matter what everyone does kind of like that and all the 2k have done with their seasons is taking that away from players 5000 mt is going to be absolutely irrelevant when realistically there's no cards between 30k and 100k that are worth buying right now might not be the biggest deal in the world hey even in unlimited if you don't like these specific rewards as you go up it you're gonna make some mt Okay, co-ops the same way, triple threats the same way. Think about it in a, in a different way, in a different light. I think that that's what everybody needs to think about these specific modes are. These modes and these rewards. Why couldn't they do both? I think they're all based around this Lunar New Year event. Why couldn't they do both? Like, why couldn't they just put in new rewards in the game modes? Like, it's not that hard. Instead of Hakeem Olajuwon, why not just give us Marcus All? <laughs> like, it's not that hard. Like... The alternative literally would be give us Marcus All, give us freaking Larry Hughes instead of Ricky Davis, give him some dribble sigs, um, instead of Penny. I don't even mind Penny Hardaway at fifty wins, but there should be a card at one hundred and fifty wins. Um, I don't even mar mind as much along the way if they're like cards you already have. The main reward for every mode just has to be a new card. There has to be some incentive because first of all, you can complete this season with two hundred fifty KMT. Other than DeMar like other than DeRozan, I'm pretty sure you can get a like Hakeem, Ricky Davis, and all those guys. Like it's 400k to complete this season, and if you are someone who goes and performs the dark arts, it's ten dollars to complete this season. And the reason I think season four is better than you know what we've seen in season three and season two and season one and even in, in previous is years. I will agree it's better in season three. I actually will agree. But everybody expected the move from the trophy case to actually mean that they go back to proper reward systems and they just aren't. That they actually replaced the trophy case with nothing. 
They replaced the trophy case with nothing, with recycled content. Is number one, they're trying something new. You guys at the start of this year wanted something new. They're li trying something new by recycling content? What? What are you on about? What are you actually on about? New. You guys didn't want reward cards on repeat because the community was tired of it. What? No, we weren't. No one ever said that. No one ever said we don't want unlimited rewards. That is never her say. No one has ever said, you know what would be great? You know what would be great? If every season is like season nine. Remember when season nine and we got no new cards and everyone complained? Complained that we got no new cards and you can complete the season for like 200 KMT? You know what nobody said? This season's great. Why don't, why do you make the entirety of 2K23 that season? No one ever said that. Now that 2K is trying different things. How is recycling trying new things? Don't like or don't think you're going to like. It's just negative. How is, how is. The old thing back. Oh my God. How is recycling content like new the things? Trophy the trophy case was not. How is recycling executed. content new things? Do I wish there was a trophy case alongside this? Absolutely. I'd be, I'd be more happy than anything if there was a trophy case part two. It doesn't need to be a trophy case part two. Just put in reward, rewards for game modes. Still trying to get people to finish the old centerpieces stuff like that. And, and so that's part of it. But you guys also, just just pay attention to the Lunar New Year event. I think, I think I... That is the one thing, the one thing that people are optimistic about. Like, you're, you're, all this video is is basically saying, is dismissing everyone's concerns for the season. And then saying, you know that one thing you actually think might be like the one saving grace of the season? Yeah, that's actually good. Like, no, no shit. That's, no one's argued otherwise. I think... When next week comes, er, and we see a new reward every week, and we have something to grind for every single day, and at the end of the two-week grind, we have a Galaxy Opal, you guys might like it. Do I wish all of- I genuinely, genuinely think that a quote from one of my videos was, I'm making this round video now, but I know when we get good cards on Monday and Tuesday next week, no one will care, but the point still stands, I have to make it. The point still stands. He's not wrong. We will forget about it when we get good rewards, but- our concern right now still stands. Of these were auctionable, yes. But again, don't sleep on this Lunar New Year event. No one is. Everybody's so no. caught up with the No the one is. No one is. Absolutely no one this. is. This might be the biggest, in my opinion, reward system we've seen. He's right. There's a reason I hyped it the hell up before the season. But it doesn't mean that when we get one good thing, it has to come at the expense of something else. That's what we're, that's what we're all so tired of. That for the last three years, every time we get something good, it comes at the expense of something else. In 2K history. That's what we're tired of. That's now what we're tired of. Say whatever you want. Once you get all this done and are on pace for Yee Yalen, then do whatever you got to do. Have fun playing the game. Get whatever rewards you want to or don't play the game. That's up to you guys. For me, I'm going to have fun playing my Team Unlimited on my No Money Spent. And getting this, I personally got something to grind for. I want DeMar DeRozan because I want to lock okay. in Tim Thomas on the No Money Spent. Okay. I want to play my team limited because at the end of it, I want that 20 box. Okay? It's probably going to be untradeable. You do realize that, don't you? Hey, I want that pink diamond prize ball that sells for some good MT stuff. Like when, when on week three, everyone gets that pink diamond prize ball, it's not going to sell for anything. Yeah. Now, again, this isn't just my opinion. You guys don't have to agree with me. But by the time, if, if I play one hour every day, okay, by the time I get those eight unlimited wins, 15 clutch time online games, 10 tri or 15 trip that online games, 10 game winning streak, completing this spotlight, and getting my limited ring every week, I'm basically going to be maxed out. So if you play this game for an hour a day, because y'all didn't like the grind for Dr. J, that was too much, remember? remember? Or Larry Bird, that was too much. If you play the game an hour a day, you can get every reward that you want. For me, my focus would be limited, which a lot of you guys like playing anyway. He's not actually wrong what he said. He is actually completely right with that. What the issue is, is that the way the game started off, it was solely catered towards the guys that are going to put in like a hell of a lot of hours. It was solely catered towards the guys that have the ability to spend their whole lives playing this game, the Ultra Sweats. And now it has gone a complete 180. Now the game, if you are someone that is a big, big time sweat of this game, if you are someone, Splash literally has the whole season beaten um, untradeable already. He has every card untradeable already. I have the vast majority. I have a lot of them untradeable. So what has happened is, is that from, it has gone from 
a system that doesn't reward any new players to a system that only rewards new players. And it goes from one extreme to the other. So you take out the thing, you you add in a concept to bring in new players into the game. They add in a concept that helps new players playing the game while taking away the concept that keeps the hardcore players in the game. For Do I think that the, um, the season's going to be fine with the Lunar New Year? Yes. But the issue is, is that why does one thing have to always come at the expense of the other? And that's the one thing that Ty doesn't, Ty can't, he just doesn't seem to be able to comprehend that because like he, he's making an argument from the standpoint that it has to be one way or the other. And if it does have to be one way or the other, I do actually think it's better to cater towards casuals than it is to cater towards the hardcore players. But the issue is, is that it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have to only cater towards one type of player. And that is what 2K fail time and time again. They fail time and time again, Ash. And you got the Zach Levine grind along the way. If you guys are mad at me after this video, I just, I don't know what to say. You guys need to look at things from a different perspective. The, the ironic thing about this whole thing is, is that this is a video coming from one perspective. That's the whole, that's the irony about this. Is that it is a, nothing Ty has said is wrong. Nothing Ty has said is wrong. But he's looking at it from one perspective and arguing and dismissing another perspective. Like even when the trophy case was at its fullest, I would all, as much as I hated it, I had always said it is really good for a certain percentage of the fan base. It is really good for a certain percentage of the fan base. But you can argue, like I think what Ty is arguing is that this is for the greater good of the game over what the way it was at the start. And I actually do agree with that. I think most people would agree with that. It's better to be like it is now than it was in season one where the only thing that matter were the hardcore grinders. The big issue is, is that the game started off by giving the finger to the casuals and now the game is giving the finger to the hardcore players. Like maybe, just maybe, 2K can try to uh, put in a system that doesn't piss off a portion of their player base. And I, by piss off, I mean piss them off to the extent that they may not, they may quit the game. I don't know. Maybe that's just an idea. But Ty, I let you cook. I disagree. I disagree with your standpoint even more now than I did yesterday. Either way, though, this is only video game advice or tip or thoughts, lads. The end of the day, go sub to Ty. If you want to watch one of the best 2K players in the world play, go sub to him. He's on 107K subs, growing significantly faster than I am right now. Like, I'm, a, I'm the dead YouTube channel. And if you guys are going to be negative in towards what he's saying, don't. He's just giving his opinion. If you guys want to hate on what I'm saying, go for it. I don't give a damn. Um, if you guys want to give me abuse, I don't give a damn anymore. Again, this is just fun content. You guys like watching me and Ty go back at each other. And Ty, if you want... I, I This is probably not a good video to respond to on your channel. But the next time I say something really dumb on video, please respond and cook me. Please fry me. And that's to any YouTuber out there. These type of videos, these type of discussions are way more fun a lot of time than just playing the game. So if I say something stupid in a video, and this is free reign to all of you guys. This is all of you guys. I have, if I'm going to freaking dish out stuff, I got to be able to take it. I am giving free reign to every 2K YouTuber. If I say something that you think is incredibly dumb in a video, as long as it doesn't resort to personal shots, please, please make a video calling me out for it because I'll be right there to respond. As the self-proclaimed pettiest man in the community, I don't let any beef die. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.